Hey guys, let's explore the challenging problem from Nigeria. Mm. The question is, um, we need to solve for A and B from this equation. A and B from this equation, okay? So, uh, let's review some concepts. The first one we need to know is complete square, right? So, A square plus 2AB plus B square equal A plus B square, okay? Uh, AB uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square equal a minus b all together square. Second one, the square root of a exists when a pos is a positive number, okay? Because a cannot be a negative number, uh, given, the uh, given the fact that we're going to work on the real number system, okay? Next one, the beta theorem, okay? The beta theorem says what? Suppose there exists two numbers, s1 and s2, satisfies the following condition, okay? Um, S1 plus S2 equal S, right? So this is the sum. And then S1 times S2 equal P, and this is the product, okay? So, um, such that S square minus 4P greater than equal 0. And this is actually the discriminant. Okay? discriminant from this equation right here okay and s1 s2 must be solution of this equation right it's a discriminant say what delta equal b square minus 4ac right all right b square b would mean s right here so it could be s square minus 4 times a a equal 1 and c equal b so that's why p and this thing must be greater than equal 0 okay all right because delta we have three different cases delta greater than zero this is two solution delta equal zero one solution right and then delta less than zero no solution right so we have the, the first two case right here that's why we need to combine them it should be greater than equal zero and it's gonna be two solution or one solution which means it has solution okay all right So let's let's take a look at this one. Okay, so I start from here. Okay, so I just rewrite this one. Root 20, 20 plus 4 root 70, 21. Okay, equal root A plus root B. Okay, now I need to eliminate the root side right here. Okay, so in order to do that, I need to square both sides. Right, I need to square the left hand side and I square the right hand side. So if I square the left hand side and then the radical side gone, right? So I have just 20, 20 plus 4 root 70, 21. Okay, now the right hand side, I need to expand this one using complete square right here. Okay, the, the formula number one right here. Okay, so basically I have root 8. Square. Okay, so before uh, before we're gonna uh, expand this one, I need to talk about the domain, right? Domain. Now you look at the uh, problem right here, so, right? In order for root a and root b to be defined, right? And that so a must be greater than zero, b must be greater than zero, right? Because the number under radical sign must be a positive number. If it's not positive number, it's gonna be undefined. Okay, so I have domain should be a right positive number b positive number and one more thing okay a and b can't pull can't both equal zero okay because if both equal zero and then this guy's undefined right if this guy equal zero and this one doesn't make sense at all right this guy cannot be equal because it's a positive number right so this cannot be equal zero. Okay. Now we need to expand this one. So it's gonna be root a uh, root a square. It's gonna be a. Okay. Now plus two times this guy and this guy it could be two root a b. And then plus b root b square which means b right because a and b positive number. Okay. And then next one I have a system of equation. Okay. So I see that this guy has root side, this guy has root side, and this guy A and B right here, right? And there is no root side, this is 20, 20, no root side. So I just equate both, uh, both sides, okay? So I have what? 
a oh let me use this one a plus b equal 20 20 okay a plus b equal 20 20 and then this guy we go with root side right here okay so I have two root a b equal for root 70 21 okay now the top okay i just keep it now the bottom this is a plus b equal 20 20 and this is the bottom it should be root a b all right equal divide both side by two so i have two root 70 21 right okay next one i keep the top but the bottom i need to square both sides okay so i have a plus b equal 20 20 and then the bottom i square both sides it's gonna be a times b equal all right this one square i need to print the i print up the calculator okay so give me a second All right, so basically I have, let me clear this one. All right, so 70, okay, 21. All right, multiply this one, multiply by 4, all right? So it should be 20, 28084, 28084, right? Okay. Now we're gonna apply the formula right here. We have the product right here. We have the product and we have uh, the, the 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 sum right here. Okay, the sum and the product right here. All right, and we're gonna check it. All right, if the sum square minus four p is uh, uh, greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so let's check this one. The sum would mean twenty twenty. Okay, square. Right, we check it. Minus four minus four times the product. The product equal twenty eight zero eighty four, right? I'm gonna check it this one to see if it's greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, and then we we go from there. All right. So let's see. I have twenty twenty square. All right. Minus four times twenty eight zero eighty four okay equal okay the equal this number so this should be positive number right it's positive all right since it's positive and then s1 s2 right here so which means a and b a solution a solution A solution to the equation what? All right, to the equation s square minus all right the sum right here the sum could mean twenty twenty s plus the product right the product should be twenty eight oh a four all right. All right equal zero right this is by the beta theorem okay now we just factor this one okay now we factor this one we use as method okay we put this uh 28 oh a four on the top this is c and this is b put 20 negative 20 20 on the bottom now we need to find two, two integers when you add them up equal the bottom when you multiply equal the top okay all right so when you add them up equal the bottom and when you multiply equal the top right okay so we're gonna check it it's gonna be what um let's see uh 14 uh 6 14 16 okay so we have check this 14 6 okay so 20 oh shit okay we multiply by 14 
Okay, it's exactly this. Okay, so it should be um negative fourteen and negative twenty oh six. Okay, when you add them up, it's gonna be negative twenty twenty, and when you multiply, it's gonna be twenty eight oh eight four. Okay, so we have this one as all right length as length equal zero. Okay, what we need to do uh, to do is fill in a blank by uh, with this number, so minus 14 minus 20 out six. Okay, now this is zero products, which is s minus 14 equal zero, and you solve it s equal 14. Okay, now s minus 20 out six equal zero, and then s equal 20 out six. Okay. So you have two values right here, two values right, uh, right, value right here represent A and B, okay? So you have two pairs of A and B, okay? So A, B, A, B equal, equal what? Right, A would be 14, and then B, 20, out, sit, R. A should be 20, out, sit, and B should be 14, okay? So this is two solutions two solution right here all right and that's it hope you enjoyed the video guys okay thank you for watching see you next time bye bye